Now there have been hopes that Axial will come out with an SCX-10 III for a while now and they really kind of just surprised everyone with this release. Uh, no one really expected it. Well, people thought... Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm excited to show you the new package that arrived. Uh, it's finally out of package quarantine and here it is, the new Axial SCX-10 III. Now there have been hopes that Axial will come out with an SCX-10 III for a while now and they really kind of just surprised everyone with this release. Uh, no one really expected it. Well, people thought it would come down the road sooner or later but uh, they just kind of sprung the surprise on us without much notification so really cool uh, they did a really good job keeping this a secret and really excited to start building this kit alright so let's take a look at the package in here uh, the SCX-10 III builder kit is a Jeep Wrangler Rubicon JLU and you can see here comes with a uh, nice plastic beadlocks, uh, different color from the ones that are seen on the Capra. I believe the Capra have the same ones, but uh, the Capra ones are in black. Let's take a look at the bottom of the box. Here we've got molded inner fenders and floor sides. This one's got portal axles, so this is the second axial portal axle vehicle. Uh, it's got the new AR45 axles. Here you can see that they've made accommodations for different battery locations. There's this rear tray here that uh, you've seen in most of the pictures. But there's also this side tray right here on the slider uh, to fit smaller batteries. And here's a surprising thing or I guess it's not so surprising since Axial has been acquired by Horizon Hobby which also uh, owns Vatera. Uh, this it's got an adjustable wheelbase chassis so it's got these sliding chassis rails and if you have a Vatera Ascender this will be pretty familiar with you because the Vatera Ascender had that feature as well and here they've got a molded uh, scale engine cover for the motor so that's a really nice detail touch okay let's look at the top of the box you can see here they've got the uh, stainless steel pivot balls but you can also see that they've got the same rod ends that they used on the Carapa which are much better than the old axial rod ends uh, if you know what I'm talking about the rod ends on previous Axial vehicles like the SCX-10 II weren't that great. They've got 6mm stainless steel links, which is nice. And here they've got the aluminum adjustable shocks. Now these shocks are just like the Capra shocks, but shorter. So this might be a nice shock to replace the Capra shocks with. So I might see if I can get uh, some of these shocks to put on the Capra. Here you see it's got, well, it says optimized suspension geometry, but you know, everyone's going to say that. Three-piece beadlock wheels, yep, like the I was saying earlier. These uh, plastic beadlock wheels, they look like the ones that are on the Capra as well, except the face here is the silver chrome, satin chrome, or satin silver instead of black. And they've got these new Needle Trail Grappler tires. They're a little bit bigger and wider than their previous kit tires. So really interested to see how these perform and how these turn out. Alright, now on the back side here. You can see some of the new things on this SCX-10 III. Uh, here. You can see that they've got uh, a transmission that is capable of dig and two speed. So there is definitely a lot more going on here in the transmission than their previous kits. Uh, the SCX-10 II G 
Jeep Cherokee kit had a two-speed, but the two-speed was not available for the longest time. I mean, the aftermarket pretty much had to come up with uh, parts to enable that. Um, I just didn't hear of too many people running that. Uh, with this one, it's got the two-speed and the dig, and the dig is something that you saw in the Capra. So the dig, I think, is a very useful feature. For me, the two-speed, not so much because I don't really uh drive my crawlers fast i i'm mostly full time on the rocks so not as much as a factor for me but i will go ahead and install it with the two speed and the dig functionality enabled to just to try them out um i believe you can lock out the two speed or the the dig uh out of the box they have options for you to do that but i probably will build it with both of those running at first here you can see the transmission has all metal gears and there's a look at the new transmission high pinion gears right there I believe these are the same as the Capra ring and pinion for their diff uh, I could be wrong but I, it's got the six six bolt right there instead of the three bolt system so I do believe that this is the same as the Capra, but I will have to see. You can see here it's got the a nice JLU body. Now this body is pre-cut, which is really nice because I really hate cutting Lexan bodies. Uh, I can never get it as perfect as I wanted to, so it's nice of them to pre-cut that for us. You can see that it also includes a lot of scale details like these rear tail lights. So really cool. I mean you can you can just see here that they've got a ton of scale details. Windshield wipers, the mirrors, handles, door handles, the, the even the latch for the hood there. So a lot of nice details here. And it's got also got a, a cage for the back. So this might be a cool thing because you might want to cut the top off and the rear of the top and just give it that uh, Jeep look with that top off. So really cool. Also seen here is that it includes a metal servo horn. So it's got a 25 tooth and a 23 tooth uh, metal servo horn. So that is also very nice because no one likes those plastic servo horns. They just never work out for these crawlers. So really cool. and. Of course, it's a chassis mounted servo setup. All right, here on the side of the box, we can see some of the details. Once again, this is a build it yourself kit, so you do have to build this. Uh, you do need a few things to complete it. You need your radio system, transmitter receiver. You need a steering servo. You need an ESC. You need a motor. And you need a micro servo for the dig which is optional, or you need a micro servo for the two-speed, which is also optional. You need a battery for the vehicle and batteries for your radio. And of course, paint for the body. Here on the other side of the box, you can see the dimensions of this vehicle when completed. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what comes in this kit and open it up. Alright, so let's take a look here. First up, in bag J, we've got the scale driver. It comes with a scale driver and different hats that you can use. Baseball cap and the cowboy hat. Pretty cool. See here, there's the light buckets. Here's the rear cage. Got body posts and your spare parts. Notice that the spare parts bag is very small, not like past axial kits where there are just sprues everywhere. But uh, 
it looks like these spear parts are mainly for the body posts and uh, one of the shock towers. Bag F. Another bag of parts. It's got the skid. It's got the sliders, the servo horn in there. Um, one thing you'll notice, none of these parts are on sprues. They are all pre-cut. So there's no cutting parts off of sprues here. So this actually looks like it reduces packaging and it should be much nicer not having to cut all these parts off the sprue. Bag C. This is what looks like the transmission. So bag C with the transmission. All the gears there, all these metal gears. Transmission housing. Bag H. And this bag has the inner fenders. Nice molded inner fenders. So kind of cool to have inner fenders included in a kit. I mean that's not very common. So really cool. Won't be seeing the inside of the truck from the side. Although I kind of do wish these were Lexan but uh, I could see why they made them plastic. Uh, they've got you, these fenders even got I think what looks like uh, mounting points for rock lights, so that's kind of cool. Here is the pre-cut body. Look at that. I don't need to cut this at all. All the cuts are perfect. So so glad I don't have to cut this body. I think the only kits that I've had where I didn't need to cut the body were the, uh, I believe the Traxxas TRX4 Sport Kit, the Hubout DC1 Kit, and this kit. So, even the grill has the cuts made for you. Bag D, links. Yes, everybody's favorite thing, links. But look, nice metal pivot balls. No more of those old plastic axial pivot balls that just, you know, disintegrate. So, really nice. And bag A, we've got the axles, the axle housing. So, once again, you know, it's pretty much almost all there already. All you really need to do are, it looks like, you just add the gears and the axles. Um, these are one piece housings, so uh, it's not like the old multi piece AR44 where you kind of have to put a few things together. Here's the bad guy with new wheels and the new tires. Really interested to see how this works out. These tires are really wide. And I mean pretty really pretty wide. I think these might be the widest tires I have. Hmm. Baggy, part of the drive shafts, and these will be very familiar. They haven't changed these. These are the Wild Boar drive shafts, so familiar territory here. <laughs> and here are the shocks in bag B. So 
very similar to the Capra shocks, just shorter. And I'm very interested to see if I could use these for the Capra to kind of shorten the stance on the Capra. But yeah. One thing I did like about these shocks or the Capra shocks were the bleeder screws on the caps. So it's nice to see that they have bleeder screws here too as well. It makes uh, building the shocks so much easier. At least for me it does. It's bag G. And this looks like the battery tray and the receiver box. And we also get a scale interior, which is pretty cool. Uh, yeah, I like some of these touches that Axial puts on their vehicles, like the scale drivers and the interiors. You don't see other kits doing that very often. I mean, it's usually just the shell and the naked chassis underneath. So this is really cool of them to include. Here you see the new chassis rails in bag K. And see how it's like high clearance setup, so pretty cool. And of course there are four pieces instead of two pieces now because it's adjustable. So you can see how they've got a bunch of adjustab adjustability there. I believe it maxes out at the standard wheelbase 313, 312 millimeters. Um, you can only go shorter wheelbase. I don't think you can go extended or longer wheelbase with these. So um, maxed out, these are, I believe, 313 millimeters or 312 millimeters. Uh, so only shorter, not longer. And last but not least, we've got the instruction manual and the decals so nice decals for the scale interior as well as the body shell and that pretty much does it I can't wait to get started on this kit uh, this is definitely exciting something new from Axial and it's not just a rehash of the SCS 10 2 with a new body it's a brand new design kit, so can't wait to get started. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and stay tuned for future videos of this kit.